Okay, testing of a second prototype uh, spall guard for a piece of AR 500 steel. Be shot with a SKS uh, 7.62 by 39 from 75 feet. Okay, first shot, nothing has exited. Uh, right in the center of the plate, there is absolutely no spalling has come out of the plate. Uh, I put a cardboard box in there to uh, see if there's anything that flew off, but I don't see any cuts in the cardboard box. We'll take another shot or two and uh, see what happens. All right, that's the second shot, just slightly below the first one. Uh, still, nothing has exited the the spall guard in the plate, so it's all staying contained. Uh, we'll give it another shot and see what happens. All right, that was the third shot. It was closer to the edge here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a piece of spalling I can see captured in the material, but nothing has exited yet. So it's still doing its job. That's three shots of 7.62 by 39 full metal jacket. So we'll uh, try another shot, see what happens. All right, one more shot in the center of the plate. Uh, still nothing has actually exited the plate. Um, all right, like I said, from the last shot, we got a little spall that's appeared near the edge, but has not penetrated yet. So, so far, we have managed to catch all of the spalling from four shots. So, let's put another round or two in the plate, and then maybe we'll switch to a uh, handgun round, see what that does. All right, here's the fifth shot, 7.62 by 39. Uh, still nothing has exited outside the plate, or outside the spall guard. So far we've managed to keep it, keep it all of it contained. So let's try one more shot of 7.62 by 39, and then we'll uh, switch to uh, some jacketed hollow points out of a nine millimeter to see if, what it does with those, so. All right. So that's six shots. We still got nothing exiting. That sixth one was pretty close to the plate there, or to one of the first holes. Still nothing, got very small holes going in. Everything is contained inside the plate. You can see the plate's bulging out a little bit now where all that lead is plastered up against it. But so far we've yet to have any failure with it. So um, let's try some uh, nine millimeter jacket hollow points for say, uh, 21 feet and we'll see what that does. All right, well I got two outside in the plate here. Uh, first, first one actually just barely missed. I guess if you miss your uh, spall guard and your armor, I guess you're gonna poke a hole through the uh, through the uh, spall guard so um, second shot was there third shot was up here on the plate you can see the jacket of hollow point cuts a nice round little hole in there with the uh, with the hollow point portion much better than the uh, full metal jackets does so let's put a couple more rounds in the plate with it and uh, said so far nothing has exited we've got zero spalling coming out of this plate um, only thing is we did get a bullet hole through that but I guess it doesn't matter whatever you get uh, if you shoot your uh, uh, plate at the corner it's gonna come off the side of it anyway so you can actually see a little bit of dust uh, probably powder residue or lead residue from those rounds spattering against the plate but so far the inside of her box is very clean All right, that was the rest of the rounds in the pistol. Um, so far, we have got absolutely nothing has exited from this plate. Uh, we've got 
quite a few holes in there and actually you can see the bases of the bullets that are splattered out against this plate. The front of the plate is bulged out quite a bit. Um, got some lead residue on the outside, but we've, so far we have zero penetration, penetration of the spall guard with any spalling coming off those rounds. So looks like the uh, concept is definitely sound. Uh, now whether or not this actually fit inside of a plate carrier, uh, well, you know, once you get the uh, the uh, metal plate and the spall guard in there, that's uh, will remain to be re seen. But the uh, it's definitely much more successful than the first prototype I caught that I shot that uh, pretty well shredded the the spall guard within about two shots. Uh, I think this now is uh, uh, six shots with 7.62 by 39. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 shots with a 9mm uh, full metal jacket from 21 feet, so I think that's uh, fairly successful. If you uh, stand and keep getting shot shot out that many times, you need to be uh, looking for some cover. So, Okay, took the bolts out of the back of the cover, um, made this a two-piece cover, that way I can actually two pieces of the same thing. Um, you can see where we've got some a lot of lead uh, dust that's been trapped in between the two plates. Um, the real spall guard application is just going to be this front half, but this back plate was just real convenient for me to uh, uh, to use to uh, to do the test and, and keep the plate and everything pulled up against the uh, piece of steel or the spall guard pulled up against a piece of the steel real nicely. Um, on the back side here, you can see where I shot this from a previous test. Um, but what's really really interesting is if I pull this piece of steel out of the way now. And look inside here. Here is where all the spalling from those uh, 20 rounds or 18 rounds that we put on this plate um, did a very good job of spot uh, stopping it. The plate, of course, is totally undamaged. You can see the uh, nine millimeter rounds there, where it just peeled the the uh, copper jacket off of the round. They're all laying in there. Um, there was a few of them stuck to the plate when I initially pulled it off, just to, to peek underneath there. But you can see all of this, all this spall that would have been uh, tearing through your plate carrier has all been caught by the uh, prototype spall guard. So uh, basically, all it was was just a, a piece of UHMW with a pocket machine down into it to uh, to catch the spalling. Um, this one side here, you can see where there's, if you look up underneath that corner there, you can see where some of it's tried to make its way out, but we've got absolutely nothing has penetrated outside this spa guard, which was what the whole uh, purpose of this test was. Very effective for stopping the uh, spawning from the 9mm rounds. Look at that, those little stars will uh, cut right through your plate carrier. <laughs> That'd probably hurt kind of bad. You don't see these very often. So, uh, Definitely a uh, very successful uh, second prototype run. The first one was a, pretty much a total failure. Um, second one, way better. So I think I'm on to something, and uh, once I get my plates and my plate carrier here, I'll uh, see what I can uh, make fit and maybe try to try the test again.